Welcome to The Tonight Show, everyone. Here we are. Uh, let's get to the news and jokes, everybody. Well, guys, I saw that former presidents Barack Obama, George W. Bush, and Bill Clinton want to encourage Americans to get the COVID vaccine by getting theirs on camera. President Trump wanted to be included, but Obama said, uh, sorry, pal, but it's two termers only. <laughs> Meanwhile, 96-year-old Jimmy Carter is like, uh, hello? Anybody want to give me a vaccine? You guys go ahead. I'll, I'll wait in line at CVS. <laughs> it would be great if they got the vaccine together. After Bush and Clinton, Obama's going to roll up his sleeve like, welcome to the gun show. Ah! Right, boys? Uh, I love this idea. It's just like when Hoover, FDR, and Truman all got prostate examined over the radio. <laughs> Here's some news about the fight against COVID. Dr. Fauci said that he's not leaving his job. And today he had his first official meeting with Biden's team over Zoom. Fauci said it was nice to kick off a meeting without the president booing him. <laughs> Meanwhile, the president still won't concede the election. And yesterday in Michigan, did you see this? <laughs> Rudy Giuliani called a star witness <laughs> in front of a committee to discuss voter fraud. Let's see how that went, and let's meet this. If the Guess how many? Wait, what about what about how what what about, what about the turnout rate? A hundred and twenty percent. We're not seeing the poll book off by thirty thousand votes. That, that's not the case. What did you guys do? Take it and uh, do something crazy to it? <laughs> I know what I saw, and I signed something saying that if I'm wrong, I can go to prison. Did you? <laughs> yeah. Oh my. Yeah. Once again, that was their star witness. Where does Rudy keep finding these people? LinkedIn Sane? <laughs> it was clear she forgot where she was, but she was like, wait, or another tequila sunrise. Um, because I'm drinking. Did you have one? Because I'm the one who had a drink. Did you? Because I'm the one who had one drink. <laughs> Yeah. I'd be, Rudy was so nervous, he started squirting black ink like an octopus. It just... <laughs> it's not a good sign when Rudy Giuliani has to lean over and go, you're making a fool of yourself. <laughs> I, I don't know that woman, but I can guarantee you her Uber rating is below two stars. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Do you agree? <laughs> Rudy also talked at the event, and a lot of people are saying that they heard something while he was speaking. Now, I swear, oh. we did not do anything to this clip, okay? <laughs> Just watch the clip and listen closely. See if you hear anything. I will, I will ask that he be, he be disciplined for that. First of all, the answer that I gave you is they didn't bother to interview a single witness. Just like you. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> Can we go one week without something leaking out of Rudy Giuliani? <laughs> yep, we've had liquids and now gas. God help us when a solid comes out of him. I, I mean, he's like every gross guy in the subway rolled into one human. Uh, it's actually not what you think. The chair was just wet from mucus and hair dye. <laughs> Some more political news. I mean, I don't even know why we do more monologue. That's all you really... What? That's, it. That's, That's it? it right there, yeah. Some more political news this week. Attorney General William Barr went against Trump and said there was no widespread voter fraud. And now Trump is not so happy with him. Watch this. Do you still have confidence in Bill Barr? Uh, ask me that in a number of weeks from now. Which means by Sunday, Trump will be like, I think it's time to free Willie. <laughs> Barr is so fired, the only thing left for Trump to decide is from which toilet to tweet it from. <laughs> it's going to be awkward when Trump says, you're fired, and Barr was like, dude, so are you. <laughs> well, this is interesting. I saw that uh, President-elect Biden's leading candidate for CIA director David S. Cohen once appeared as an extra in an episode of Game of Thrones. 
Take a look at this. Yeah, that's him. What? Yeah, he might be in charge of the CIA. Well, it turns out he's not the only government official who's appeared in a big fantasy production without people realizing it. For example, Stephen Miller played Voldemort. <laughs> and you might not know this, but Jeff Sessions played the goblin banker in Harry Potter. <laughs> and finally, Melania Trump was the stunt double for David Bowie in Labyrinth. I did not realize, these are things I did not know. Oh, listen to this. Hagen Dazs just announced that America's favorite ice cream flavor of 2020 is. <laughs> vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> yep, the flavor of the year is vanilla, and also Miriam Webster's word of the year is the. Finally, uh, here in New York, they had to close the Verrazano Bridge this week due to high winds. This video is pretty crazy. Check this out. Wow. Yeah. The woman from Michigan was like, is that what bridges do? <laughs> is that what bridges always do? Is that what bridges do? They go up and down, is that what they do? Because that one's doing it. <laughs> Driving over your GPS is like, I hope you have your affairs in order. Oh my goodness, can you believe it's already happening? This is very exciting. Yeah. Guys, we have exactly 12 shows left before we go on Christmas break. <laughs> yeah, already. Which means it's time for that beloved Tonight Show tradition. It's time for 12 days of Christmas sweaters. <laughs> 12 days of Christmas sweaters, 12 days left. That's right, every show between now and Christmas will be giving one lucky audience member an out of this world Christmas sweater from the Countdown to Christmas cabinet. There are only like five people in our audience, so this is really. The very loud five people, this is great. The odds are great that you'll be going home with something special. Uh, now, since there are 12 shows left, let's open door number 12. Oh, oh yes. Oh, it's a beautiful. Look at this. Yeah, let's see it. Oh, oh wow. That's a lot of, a lot of, a lot of balls around there. That's uh, unbelievable. That is a fancy, fancy. Oh, the back. Look at the back. This is a one of a kind. This is a one of a kind. Now, let's see who's going home with tonight's sweater. Everyone look at your seat number, and if I call your number, come on down. Who wants this sweater, huh? Come on. Quest, can I get a drum roll, please? Three, oh, five! <laughs> come on down. Oh, welcome, thank you so much. Please, right over there. Oh, my goodness. Hi, how are you? What is your name? Jennifer. Jennifer, where, where are you from? Uh, Brooklyn. Brooklyn! Come on! <laughs> Jennifer, it's a little chilly out there right yeah. now. Do you have anything like this? No, nothing like this. No, would you like to, uh, would you like to try it out? Yes, yes, yes. Please try it. Go for it. I, I, can't, uh, I can't help you. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, yeah here you go. That's, you can, yeah. Oh. I, this is going to be, trust me, this is going to go, oh, I can already tell. This is going to be a winner. Winner? Look at this. Oh, I'm loving this. Are you kidding me? You are a supermodel. Look at this. Are you kidding me? You are. Thank you so much for playing and coming to our audience tonight. I'm so thankful you're here. And congratulations once again to our winner. Thank you. Stick around. We'll be right back with more tonight, show, everybody. Come on. And on and on. Uh, I said, and it's on.